Movement Atomic. <sighs> Today we're going to take a look at the Ford Transit, a cargo van that's liked by tradespeople and also those that like to go the other side of the tracks. Come with me and we'll take a closer look. <sighs> there was a van that, uh, that basically wore the transit badge from about 1953 to 1965. The Ford Transit that we know and have grown to know and love has basically started in 1965 and during the 70s it became just an absolute icon for those that like to rob banks. I mean essentially the um, Scotland Yard back in 72 said that it was 95% well, of uh, bank robberies were done using a Ford Transit and that was because it was powerful there was a V4 engine it handled like a car and well there was so much room in the back just to put whatever swag you wanted to have so you know an all-round win how does the new one compare let's take a closer look Five years later, four generations and so many facelifts, actually more facelifts than Mickey Rourke, you end up with this, this great looking new transit. Look at that, front grille very much in keeping with the new design language from Ford and yeah, size of this big badge, it's awesome. This one comes with a nice lower front scoop down here, also fog lights. LED DRLs and adjustable headlights so all going on here and <laughs> this is so good being the sport it comes with go faster stripes you'd love that don't you moving around the side the van shape is traditional you know huge amount of space at the back which I'll get to at the moment comes with 17 inch feet so a little bit a uh, little bit more elevated off the ground and also the mirrors here of dual uh, dual view so you've got the traditional normal straight view back and also a wide angle at the wide angle lens at the bottom so you've got plenty of view to see what's going on behind you to watch the rosas chasing you anyway round the back tinted glass with a wiper as well so making sure you can see out the back board badge again more with the go faster stripes and look at this look at the amount of room you get to load Ah, massive just so much room to get whatever swag you should want in here bit of a difference though with the old one and the new one this one only comes with 980 odd kgs of payload whereas the old one I think would take up to 1.7 tons so you may have to make two trips which is not a bad thing because this transit drives so nicely let's take a look under the bonnet just like the mark one this too has a two liter engine or two liter powertrain this one though is diesel rather than petrol and uh, a straight four pot rather than a v4 but it also is almost three times the amount of power yes you heard that correct the old mark one used to have 63 kilowatts to play with this one has 136 kilowatts on top of that 415 newton meters of torque that's huge amounts it'll also help you with your getaway because it sips fuel at 7.2 liters per 100 kilometers and also being a euro 6.2 means that it only kicks out emissions of roughly 187 grams per kilometer so don't expect any big plumes of smoke out the back to assist with your getaway either anyway the engine's great and been thoroughly improved but so's the cabin let's take a look in there and go for a drive while we're at it with sales that boast well in excess of 8 million over the 55 years it's been in uh, in, in production I mean it's easy to see why uh, I don't know why, why people think it's so popular I mean it is such a popular van I mean it's a stalwart for the man with the van and also for those that want to do nefarious stuff you know your bank robbers from years gone by I mean the mark one was a good looker I mean we had one as a family 
strange we didn't do any bank robbing but you know we had one uh, and actually the uh, we put a Capri engine into our van as well so you know it, it, the Ford interchangeability was awesome so the you know the gearboxes and the the engines used to match and away you used to go so very very cool not so sure it still does that nowadays but then I don't think you have to this new Mark IV facelift stroke whatever it is facelift it is now this is the sport version and it really does live up to its past its reputation and also adds so much more I mean you can't really say it's car like because it's van like but the interior really does bring all your sort of passenger vehicle uh, tech and spec to to the van. I mean, looking around, visibility first off is amazing. Big big screen, dual wind, uh, dual mirrors. Some of them, are, the top ones are automatically adjusted, so you can adjust them, and the bottom ones are just widescreen, so you can just make sure you can see all corners. Added to that, you've got uh, vehicle sensors and blind spot and um, rear cross traffic and a reversing camera that has two views where you can see out the back and also see straight down. So you really are quite cosseted in the technology and also where you can see. I can also see through the rear view mirror on this into just into some of the stuff at the back, the 11, 11 square, cu 11 cubic meters square. I don't know. There's an awful lot of room back there. The dashboard itself easily laid out, um, nice touch screen across the middle here that daps you into sync three and all the tech that you could really want in a van. I mean, it's it's got Apple, Android, it's got um, navigation, it's got all the stuff you really want and it's very accessible, very easy to, to touch around. The functions on the steering wheel or the buttons on the steering wheel, there's plenty. You've got adaptive cruise control, so if you want to go on long journeys, you can just relax and monitor the car in front or the, the vehicle and monitor the car in front. You You've got an analog digital uh, dashboard that this can control as well. So you've got buttons that can dap in and you can see what your um, fuel economy is. You can see what speed you're going. And also while you're talking about, while we're talking about speed, it's also got traffic sign recognition. So you can actually see what speed you're going. So you've got no excuse if you get picked up by the Rosas as to what speed you were going. It is a bit of a giveaway. Seating wise, I mean, it's very comfy. It's got also an extra armrest here that you can adjust to your own height. Also, that massive uh, window ledge here for, you know, for those, again, those long journeys where you want to be a van driver and just relax in your, I don't know, van drivingness. It's very cool. Also, the passenger seats, they do lift up so you can do storage under here. And there is storage all over the place. You've got two big places for the for your big gulps or your 1.5 litre stuff or your gallon of cup of tea because, or, you know, you've got to have a cup of tea while you're driving. The There's stuff across the dash here where you can put your phones, you can put, I don't know, you can plug things in down there. Just places, cubby holes, stuff that van drivers need. Even stuff up here, very, very cool. And then it comes to the way it drives. I mean, it just, it, it handles so well. I mean, it's front wheel drive and that's cool, but it just picks up the revs well and drives quickly you know I say quickly in comparative terms but it does it goes nicely six speed box is great revs through those nice and easy and also if you want to put it in manual you can actually choose the gear you like on the side still don't know about this side stuff here but anyway uh, it feels comfortable and it feels solid. I went over the Harbour Bridge uh, two days ago. It was blowing a gale and I wasn't blown all over like this and the, the steering feels nice. It feels responsive but and also 
it feels responsive but not overly playful you know you're not you're not taking an hour to to register that the wheels need to turn left or right which used to happen in the mark one i know i'm harping back for 55 years and so much has changed since then hell i've been born in between then but it there's just so much technology in here and <laughs> it's hard not to like this van it's it's so much fun and so much room it's very cool so there you have it the ford transit custom sport short wheelbase yes it's still an amazing van and still you know gonna be great for tradespeople but it's also peppier than before so you know in theory the likes of Regan and Carter from the Sweeney are still going to have difficulty catching up with you but you know that's the way it is the other thing is it's just far more I don't know user friendly there's technology galore and it's just more refined it's you know full of toys and full of gadgets there you go thanks for watching make sure you subscribe because you know the sooner you subscribe the better i won't have to go off and do my night job anyway see you next time cheers